go attack Jimmy Neutron, because that's where your fucking thing is actually getting ripped off. But it got <laughs> ripped off a long time ago, and no one even remembers Attack of the Twonkies. No. No, there I don't has remember been that plenty. episode. <laughs> it was a special. We're going to be doing a discussion today. Today's discussion is going to be about uh, the gremlins. Now, really, we shouldn't be talking about gremlins. Gremlins <laughs> is irrelevant. It's not having a new movie. It's not having a reboot. It's just going to be um, rerunning soon. So the guy who made gremlins gave an interview where he shit talks Star Wars because that's the popular thing to do. And normally, I'd be all for shit-talking Star Wars. Hell, the Kenobi show was so meh, I didn't even want to finish shitting on it. But the thing that he accused Star Wars of is something that I have an issue with, so I want to complain about it. So we're going to do that today. Um, according to the guy who made Gremlins, uh, he thinks that Grogu is a ripoff of uh, Gizmo. Grogu is also known as the Child or Baby Yoda, and Gizmo is the most recognizable gremlin. Now, the first thing I want to say is that the gremlins themselves are based off of an urban legend, that yeah. being little goblins that supposedly attacked people that were also claimed to be space aliens. Like... <laughs> So they're not original. They're already based off of something. And there are plenty of other characters based off of these same goblin creatures. Stitch from Lilo and Stitch is also a notable one. And Sableye from Pokemon. So yep. the Gremlins already starts from a place of inspiration itself. But let's not even get into that. One, Baby Yoda is a child version of Yoda from Star Wars. Well, not a child version. He's a child from his species that's why he was known as the child but he yeah. is a essentially a child version of yoda yoda predates the gremlins movie so how could a baby version of a character that pre-exists your property be a ripoff of your thing grogu has big black eyes the gremlins mm -hmm. have big brown eyes one has, like, pupils, one has pure black eyes. Like, there are plenty of differences between them. And according to the guy who was working on the, uh, the Mandalorian, he claims that the biggest inspiration for Grogu was E.T. And I see the E.T. similarities. He's a little helpless, <laughs> defenseless alien. He can float. He can heal people with his touch. There's a lot of E.T. inspiration. I think if they did take inspiration from the Gremlins, he would have said something about it. But there's nothing in Grogu's characteristics that would make me think Gremlin, and there's nothing in his appearance that would make me think Gremlin other than he has big pointy ears. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I think the main reason why the guy is bashing on this thing is because right now Kathleen Kennedy is the head of Disney Star Wars. And she worked on a ton of movies in the 1980s, including Gremlins. And I think the guy who made Gremlins is a bit mad that his property isn't as big as the property she's working on. And he feels like she might have stole some thunder from him. Now, mm -hmm. I'm probably in the minority here, but I didn't like Gremlins 2. And I think Gremlins 2 was already pushing it when it came to the Gremlins brand. I don't yeah. see the Gremlins ever coming back. I don't no. see the Gremlins ever being relevant again. I think the Honestly. Gremlins were a product of their time, and Gremlins 2 was a complete departure and missed a lot of the things that made Gremlins 1 good. Gremlins yeah. 1 wasn't good thought... because of the evil Gremlins being crazy. It was good no. because of the heartfelt story being told behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, like, the Gremlins felt like a one-and-done thing. A lot of movies from the 1980s, they work better as a time capsule, and they work better as a one, like, 
episode story rather than trying to make it continuous. And I get that he just wants to build up some hype for Gremlins. And I get that nowadays the internet has conditioned you to clout chase by starting stuff with other creators. But I think it's insulting to say that Star Wars would steal something from you when your thing is barely worth stealing from. Go attack Jimmy Neutron because that's where your fucking thing is actually getting ripped off. But it got <laughs> ripped off a long time ago and no one even remembers Attack of the Twonkies. No. No, there I don't has remember been that plenty. episode. <laughs> it was a special. There has been plenty of gremlin ripoffs. Grogu is not one of them. Just because Baby Yoda is popular and has a shit ton of merchandise and is going to continue gaining relevancy far past fucking gremlins does not mean you have to stoop so low to attack a company that is far more successful than you or your brand. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not a Disney shill. I'm not yeah. a Star Wars yeah, shill. No. <laughs> I will shit on this stuff when I want to. I thought Revo was stupid. I thought the fucking Obi-Wan show was bad. I I don't fucking defend Star Wars, but Star Wars is in the right here. Like, you can go and look up all the different concept arts for Go Grogu. There were points where he looked more like uh, Yoda than anything. Like, I think the biggest problem is, is like, how do you make a BB version of Yoda and not have it look like a gremlin? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like the guy who is talking about this, the guy who made gremlins, I feel like he knows this. And this is just a little jab to get some attention his way. And it's worked. A lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people are bringing it up. It's stupid, and I don't think that you should be seeking this type of attention. It reminds me of the Boing Kid thing. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. you'll get some attention your way, but there'll be a lot of negative attention coming your way that will hurt your brand and hurt the thing you're trying to sell. And mm -hmm. the Gremlins Absolutely. haven't been relevant in a long time. You'll still have the boomers from the 80s supporting you, but <laughs> the newer generation that could have got into Gremlins is going to be gone because you decided to do something like this. It'd be like if the creator of Chucky came out and attacked Annabelle when it was big. It's just a mm -hmm. stupid idea. It's like, yeah, it may get you some temporary attention. It may get you in a headline, but it's going to cause more harm than it is good because you're claiming that things are stealing from you and then people are going to go look at your product. And if your product doesn't hold up, then they're going to bash on your product and mindlessly praise the thing that you're trying to attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, I say it's a bad look for him. It's a bad look for Gremlins. And uh, it's not yeah. going to hurt Star Wars at all. Because no. I'll, I'll definitively say now, just like I did with the Sonic stuff, uh, Grogu is not a ripoff of Gremlins. If you can find a way no. to make a baby version of Yoda and not have it look like Grogu, please do tell me.